Liz Blake speaking and this is day 25 of 30 days live. Now tonight and tomorrow night I'm going to be talking about the great fork in the road that all entrepreneurs get. In fact there's two forks in the road and so I'll start with the big question. The big question is what moves the needle in your business? What moves the needle for your business? Okay so is it good policy and procedures? So is it updating them, writing them really well? And uh, is it that? Is it having a great SOP manual, Standard Oper Operating Procedures Manual? Uh, is it that? Um, is it having a well-written business plan, a well-prepared business plan? Now I can tell you from uh, teaching and uh, writing curriculum according to national accreditation standards uh, requirements, um, right up to the higher education level, um, but I can tell you that every business training package uh, is focuses and it, what you've got to actually produce, the bottom line of what you've got to produce is a really well-written business plan. And even at master's level, you will have to do that um, in, in tertiary there. But, uh, so a well-written business plan, is that what is going to move the needle in your business? And that's arguable. Is it having hiring the right employees, hiring good employees? That's arguable. In fact, there's a good argument for that. Is it grants? Is it getting good grants, getting a leg up? Because that's what's going to move the needle. Because, of course, grants give you cash flow. Okay. Well, yes, all of those things are yes, but they're yes. They're not the yes. Really, they're, if they're not the yes, it's, it's a no. <laughs> okay, so... What is the big yes? What is the thing that moves the needle the most in your business? Well, that flat out, straight and plain is getting more clients in less time. So that's all very well to say that, getting more clients in less time. Very, very simple. So where do you start with this? Where do you start? Well, you start with the end in mind. And so you start with a sales goal. So, you know what do we need to uh, what do we need to do to, to break even what how much do we need to sell to break even and or to do more of course you want more than that because uh, breaking even is barely survival barely uh, it's survival with no room for any error that's dangerous okay so so how do you achieve that sales goal so first of all you think about well how do I achieve that sales goal so we start at the end and then we reverse engineer it how do I achieve that? Okay, so does that mean, um, so X amount of sales per month um, or whatever it is, is your time frame. Um, so how many buyers do I need to achieve those sales? And how many, if I've got a few different products or many different products, uh, how many buyers of these products or these products or these products do we need to achieve that? And then there's Okay, so we've got buyers. What's the thing before buyers? You know, we're reverse engineering. Okay, leads. Okay, so how many leads to get one buyer for my main product, let's say. So I'll give you some industry figures, a few industry figures anyway. It often takes, now of course this is very generalising, uh, but uh, it's not a bad generalisation. That's why it exists as a generalisation, <laughs> is that if you've got 100 leads, you that it, it's an accepted for a decent sized product, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about a house or something that's a, a large purchase, uh, but something that's just a few thousand, several thousand dollars, something like that. You will you will very often the, the figure that's bandied around is about a hundred leads, or um, actually not even leads. It's a hundred uh, participants, you know, <laughs> qualified leads. Okay, to get three buyers. Okay, obviously we're not talking about tiny products either. But still, that's that's a generalisation. So 100 to 3. Or what about if there was 10 in your instance? Or what if what about if it could be 10 leads to become 3 buyers? Or what if it could be 5 leads to become 3 buyers? And I'm talking averages here. Okay, so obviously there's something you would have to do very differently to achieve the difference in those figures, in those ratios. And so, and that brings us to the number one fork in the road. Is, 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 and that number one fork is the decision of what will I do differently to increase that ratio. 
you know, what is it I really want? If it's sales and that, you know, it, and I want a 10 to 3 or a 5 to 3 or, a, or I'm happy with a 100 to 3 ratio of leads to sales, then what would I have to do different? How do I set that up? What structure do I put in place to, to set that up so that you can forecast and that you can have what comes in? So it, it's very much to do with your sales process. And, um, you know, there's a few factors like how personal is it, how, how you know, how, how face-to-face is it, um, and I don't, and it could be virtual but sort of one-to-one-ish sort of thing, how personal or personalised is it, uh, how engaged, how interactive, how engaged it is, um, how do you get them engaged? I mean, there's all these questions and that. So t- tomorrow night I'm going to talk a little bit about the second fork in the road, which is um, uh, the heat of your leads and timing. And... It's very related to tonight's, the number one fork in the road, um, uh, talking about engagement. Uh, It's very, very related. Now, um, I'm doing, I've mentioned a few times in this 30 days that I'm doing a five-day transformative program very soon in November. And uh, so these questions, you'll get some answers to these questions. Um, and but if you can't wait, if you're if you're thinking I don't want to wait till then, and I don't want to wait to until then, um, just drop a comment or d- uh, direct message me at, because I've got a package uh, that I'm offering to three people only through October. That's it, no more than three people. Very special package where I can give you a little bit of help that will boost you very very quickly along that way. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow night.